a little angry that they nerfed my uh, stone farming method. I see why they did that, but at the same time, I don't think it was necessary. Why would you nerf something that makes it so easy to get stone to fortify your base when you're just going to add a creature in that destroys your base no matter what block it's made out of? I don't really understand this logic. This is a great game. It really is. But this kind of nerf makes me sad. And it makes little bunnies cry tears of blood. Eh. And candy canes. Might as well, right? We're getting weird with it, so might as well add no, candy canes. No, candy corn. Candy corn. Hmm. They cry candy corn. Well, some Cause... tasty bunnies, actually, now that you, now you mention candy corn. <laughs> You're bringing up a very big weakness for me. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Alright, so this is the base idea that I'm going with here. Uh, this is the first defensive ring. It's going to change as I add on to it. Uh, but for now, it's function over form. As is many of my actual survival builds, they're function over form. So you're probably thinking, oh, this is uh, not going to last you very long. Well, you're right. It won't last me very long. As a matter of fact, I'm almost counting on it. The zombies are going to run in this first night. And I just screwed up badly. They're going to run in this first night. And just a few of them are going to end up dying on this thing. However, however, I'm aware of this. I'm planning on this. When they die, I'll already be deep underground. So the zombies that do try to get to me will have a very difficult time getting to me. And I need to make ladders so this will not work at all. Shit. <laughs> okay, so we got 48 ladders. That can get us down considerable distances. God damn it. <laughs> and of course, we're going to have this age old problem where I end up screwing up badly. Okay, here we go. Ready to see the new and improved underground? Hopefully, there is not a cavern. Because if there is. This is the time and true tested way to kill yourself in any of these games, is to dig straight down. However, I'm counting on the fact that they haven't added caverns. That's probably not something I should be counting on. Whatever. Am I really getting destroyed stone from... Wow. Wow. Really, game? I... What? Really? Okay, well that's a problem. We'll address that in a moment. So let's uh build our way out of here. That's the solution to anything, is to build your way out. Okay. So we need to actually craft another storage chest. But first we need room to do that. Are you serious? There we go. Oh man, because I have to quickly move everything out of that chest down here, because enemies are not going to just, you know, ignore that box. They're going to destroy it, and all the stuff in there is going to be gone. Mostly crap is in there, but, you know, we can use everything at this point, since we've lost all of our valuables time and time again. So let's, uh, dig a hole. So I'm digging out a little cozy living space here. I've got so much work to do before it turns night, but so far it's it's looking pretty bad. Oh, it's looking pretty bad. I've got to add a door, some manner of physical blocking from the outside world. Which right now we don't have that. Uh, so let's add a. No. Let's add... Shit. Do I not have materials necessary for a door? Yes, I do, actually. Wow. Still having that issue, are we? Yes, we are. Mr. Bond. That's okay. We will have a door shortly. Okay, we have a door. It works, which is great. 
So now we can just sequester ourselves down here and wait for the rampage. And I can tell it's already sundown. Because uh, there's a weird kind of haze going on down here. They haven't fixed that lighting issue yet, but... It's your first initial warning. When everything turns orangey-red, you know things are going to get serious. The zombies are going to start pouring out of the wilderness, and you're pretty much fucked if you're outside. Even more so now, as we found out. Dogs and bees and all manner of fat, bloated monstrosities. Uh, are there two different rock types? Like, what's going on here? I just noticed this. Literally, it's been sit staring me in the face. I didn't get... Yes! There are two... Okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to complain so much. <laughs> I have destroyed stone, and I'm like, oh, I got a nice makeover, but why is it giving me destroyed stone? Turns out, that's not the same stone. They added another layer. Alright. Alright, that makes sense. And I... Shit. Oh no, please tell me I can make another one. Oh, please tell me I can make another one. Please. Am I just... Am I stupid or is it staring me in the face? No. I don't believe that it is. I can't make another pickaxe. Wow. I am so screwed. Uh... uh <laughs> I'm I'm beyond screwed right now. Without another pickaxe, without metal, I can't. Oh boy, it's gonna be horrible. It's gonna be pretty horrible. Maybe they'll never know I'm down here, right? Maybe. Just maybe. There's a hope. There is that chance that they will never know that I will live underground with the moles. <laughs> Chewie's wise phrase of the day? When there's a hope, there's a way. Well, there isn't a way currently. If you see, if you see this, when you see this, there is no way out of this. Where did my shotgun go? There it is, pump shotgun. Oh my god! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm ready for the massacre of me. Hopefully water has not been fixed. If you remember in my series earlier, uh, zombies are glitched. They can't dig down when there's water. But this is Alpha 2. They've had a lot of time to look over these bugs, so they might start digging through, and I'm going to have to start running and gunning, and there's nowhere to run, as you can see. Let's uh, put down a spike. Boy, I'm gonna move you over there. Ooh. Oh man! So in the morning, I have to run to one of those industrial zones and grab some metal. And again, I'm going to skip forward a bit here. Uh, I don't like sitting here recording because it just, it, it's boring as crap and all you have to do is listen to me and see me staring at the rocks for like a billion hours. So I'm going to speed forward again. If something interesting happens, I will record that as fast as possible. Uh, but, you know, you're going to see me pretty soon. Most likely than not, either dead or foraging. Talk to you soon. Alright, I am back and it is looking almost like time to get out. I failed to realize that I need to shoot the zombies to get out of here. So, um, unlike my former series, there isn't a 
easily made tower. That wouldn't help, considering there are spider zombies out there. Oh boy, strategies have changed so much. I'm still I'm racking my brain right now trying to think of how I can build the space in a manner in which I can safely get in and out without something following me inside. Because right now, I can't think of anything. <sighs> Normal zombies... Normal zombies can climb ladders, and spider zombies can climb everything. So, this is a problem for me. Uh, and you know, I, I'd been saying that since day one, I said this is going to change. Your old bases are not going to work the way they used to. So, that's why I'm going this whole underground dweller approach, because this seems to work, no matter what. It's just, how do I get the surface to be secure? They can climb ladders, but I need ladders to make this safe. So I think what I'll do is make a massive tower with ladders that go up to individual floors with doors... And at night time, I just plunk down some spikes in front of the doors, whatever. And the center of the tower is this drop down below. That's the only design I can think of at the moment that would help me. If this is Minecraft, I'd just put waterfalls around it and push everything away. But this is not Minecraft. My friend is playing Minecraft right now. I am not. <laughs> I am playing a game where water does not save you as much. I mean, yeah, sure, they can't dig to me right now, but it's not like I can use it as a weapon. Okay, it's still not time. And they're already in there. Like that little fortified area there. Okay. So we're going to have to go balls of steel here. Let me drop a few things so I don't end up exploding myself. Um, we're going to need a melee weapon. We're going to take off most of our ammo in case we die, which we probably will. We're going to take off most of that, too. Medication. I should probably leave three on me. We will not need our food once we're up there, either. All right. Get a drink for courage here. Oh, that's good. Okay. We have some caffeine. Ah, and no, I just hurt myself. <laughs> Why do I always do this? Every time. Let's do this. Oh, we do this for for bears everywhere. And hamsters and other manner of strange creatures. Oh, man. I don't like this part. I'm so vulnerable right now. It's not even funny. They're breaking through that wall like cheese bread. Mm, I actually bought some cheese bread. It's really good. Get off my lawn for the last effing time. Oh, okay. We've dealt with the zombie threat, and we've come out alive, unscathed. So now we create some ladders, because otherwise we're never going to get up there. Apparently cannot loot any of the zombies, and that's a real shame. Wow. <laughs> they changed the way ladders work, it seems. Uh, okay. So, now we loot. And we need metal. It's the only place I'm going to find metal. It's down there. I'm pretty sure of it. I can't recall if I can get metal... You know what, there's no point in even thinking about it. I was just about to say, there's a lot of metal and rebar laying around on the ground. But there's no way in hell 
that I can even take that stuff without a pickaxe. The whole point is to get the metal for the pickaxe. So we're going to go down here and get some metal scraps to create a pickaxe. Yeah, because there's all this metal just laying around and there's no way I can get it. And I wonder if I can actually, yeah, without a pickaxe, no point in trying. I was going to say, I could probably start shooting the car. Please have metal on you. No, he had a friggin' stick. No, let's find out. We've got plenty of ammo. Let's... Let's find if we can get metal from the car by shooting it. I know we can get metal if we farm it, but I don't have anything to do that with. Okay, so we can get metal scrap by doing that. Was it worth it? Not really. Wait, can I pick that up? No, I can just pick up stones. Shit. Uh, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. What the hell is that? Ah, oh, that's the desert biome. Strange, really. Okay, so let's go inside this place and grab some metal scrap. I can hear spider zombies and oh boy, and they're falling out of any opening. This place is going to be a nightmare to clear out now because everything can climb. I never actually did a full frontal assault on this place before. We do not need this anymore. Uh, so this will be interesting to say the least. Without a torch. Oh man, can I make a torch? Yes, I can. Thank God. Screw it. We're going to take all our shells on us. I love that audio effect they added in. Fucking toilets. Toilets, 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 toilets. Where would we be without the toilet? Not a very nice place, I'm sure. In a shithole? Yes, in a shithole. Oil canister, very useful. I'm taking that. Yeah, we would be in a shithole. Cause we need we need the toilet. Toilet is our friend. Oh, I can't wait to find some coal ore so I can stop using my bandage material for that. Oh, we got some potato seeds. We'll be making potatoes at some point. Because we live on a lake, we have ready access to water, which is great. Is it just me, or am I hearing something in the corner? Yeah, there are zombies here. Once they shoot, they're all going to be alerted. Yeah, you guys are probably a little angry right there. You're like, oh, shoot the barrel, shoot the barrel. You'll blow up the entire building, but shoot the barrel. No, I need the barrel. <laughs> it's a precious material that I cannot afford to lose. And I was about to say, neither is that door, but then she just destroyed it. Whatever. She does what she wants. She does what she wants. Let's uh, put that down there. And right there. I'll take care of this one. That was in the head. You can't tell me that that... Oh, you... you... Oh, I thought it was a freaking zombie dog. <laughs> well... Zombies. The new sounds, like, they have a whole new... I don't know what 
that is. I can't pick it up. It's probably a pot. We don't need a pot. What we need is a whole shitload of ammo. Hey, asking ye shall receive. That wasn't a whole shitload, but it was still pretty damn good. Whoa, okay. That's as close to death as I'm willing to go. Tell if they're behind me or what. Thank God they're not digging down in here, right? That'd be bad. <laughs> I'm just trying to survive your zombie apocalypses. Please let me survive. There's a zombie around here. Add that torch. Burn his picnic. We need more torches. We can't explore this place. You know, I came here for metal primarily, and I've already passed by a very good source of it, uh, which was outside. Well, the other area, but yeah, might as well check this out, right? This is also a great source of metal, and that wouldn't be a bad idea for base either. The problem is now that they have the acid zombies. I'm pretty damn concerned about living in a gigantic tower like that. And I know I said I'd make a tower for myself, but uh, the tower I had in mind was going to be destroyed anyway pretty easily. It's it's mainly just to conceal the way into my base. That tower, that's all you can do is really build on the inside there and be safe. But you can't be safe anymore, because they can destroy it. It's a flashlight. I lost... Yeah, didn't I lose the other flashlight? I think I did. Alright, let's go grab some metal before I forget. <laughs> I'll find some miraculous way of forgetting. And I don't even remember where it is. Here it is. Okay. And we have some metal. No, give me the metal. Where'd the metal go? There it is. Jeez. Yeah, because a normal human being can punt... Oh, and it just wasted the other two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're just... Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? That's not a cool thing to do. That is not a cool thing to do. The game just... The game is dicking with me. Is that a dog? 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 No, that's... Oh, man, the zombies are falling from the sky. Woo! Are you faint of heart? <laughs> we are now. Oh, man, there's more metal up there. I really don't want to go up there, considering the amount of undead, but I'm going to need to, right? Hey! Hello! Goodbye! Oh, no pause in recording here. This is, uh, entertaining shit. Oh! 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 Oh, man. This is the last place I want to be stuck. This is the last place on Earth I want to be stuck in right now. I mean, this would be a great place to survive in the last version of this game, but... Not right now. Not right now. There's too many narrow hallways, too many ways of getting yourself killed. Oh man, my character is worse for wear. Is that water? Here, acid puking Hulk. Great. I hate how they know where I am. Like, that's gonna change in the next, uh. uh that's gonna change in the next update. Oh, man. It's kind of. Oh, they don't know I'm over here. Huh? Wow. 
let's try to open some of these, shall we? Kind of tense. <laughs> I've died so many times. Yeah, see, I have every reason to be tense. There's a zombie staring at me right over there. I've died so many times already. And I'm just expecting it to happen again. Well, the good news is we have a whole list of torches now in this area. So, should we ever need to come back... No! 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 Oh my god. See what I mean? I panic. I'm so used to failure at this point. Yeah! We're dead. We're gonna die. Like, I'm gonna die. I am going to die here. I think I've got enough metal. I would love to craft it right now, but I'm a little concerned. Mm. Let's see if I can. Oh, please, 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 please. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. I can actually... Gotta look around. <laughs> Don't be filled with gas. Come on, game. Now you'd be playing me like that. I'm gonna get all ghetto on you. <laughs> Throwing zombies out of buildings at me. Going to World War Z. Oh! <laughs> Need this metal. So bad right now. How much does that even give me? Six. Okay, so that is worth it. After this next one, we should have enough for at least another pickaxe afterwards. Um, so, we'll be safe until we can find some iron ore. We desperately need to find right away. That is that is your ticket to staying underground in this game. You need iron ore to continue making pickaxes. You can keep yourself quite, you know, well off with the blueberry farm and all that stuff, but you need iron ore to keep continuing digging and avoiding the surface world. What can I drop? What can I drop? What can I drop? I can't drop anything. Can I? Can I not? Can I not? Can I? What can I do? Oh, yes, I, I don't need to drop anything. Aha! Got another gun. Okay, okay. So we're off to a good start. Good start now. From that bad start we had earlier. I would love to know what's up there, but... No. <laughs> no, we're going to avoid that, like the plague. Let's go back to building. 